challenges that I think um, are going to fundamentally change the way we think and live and operate on the planet. Huge geopolitical con uh, consequence if we don't address these challenges relative to poverty and mass migration. None of us are going to be able to solve these problems, these global problems on our own. It's going to take an integrated effort of, of not just government, industry, and academia working together, but across multiple governments, across multiple countries coming together and working in integrated fashion uh, to deliver a whole different level of result. We have to load share, and, and I'm right. confident that the market left to its own will develop the things that need to be developed over time, and I'm, I'm very encouraged by that. What I'm concerned about is that there's not enough time right, to let that happen. We need to actually accelerate that process. And so in my experience in working with other countries technically from the national security side, because if we keep treating economic security, trade, national security, our interest, your interest as merely bilateral or even multilateral transactions and don't focus on what are the real things that are going to change the nature of the way we live on the planet, all right, then I think we're going to continue to fight this trust battle. You're not directing the machine, you're negotiating with the machine. Train the human and the machine together, right, as a team from the beginning, right? You actually develop that system with a different level of insight, right, about the way that it works and the way that it behaves. But what happens when a, a, um, a tool, a autonomous agent, decides that it has a responsibility to shut down attack that thinks that it sees mounting and does it by taking out another country's infrastructure that's being used as a transport vehicle for that attack, yes. right? An undesirable, unwanted, right, consequence with significant geopolitical, yes. right, um, uh, outcome. Using AI to watch AI, yes. right? Uh, to develop uh, to develop a program that has a rule set that says these are the bounds in which this program should be able to make decisions. We need to actually revise the way that we're training the next gen the next the next uh, gen workforce uh, and begin to actually teach them what does it mean to actually pair and partner with machines, right? But it's about asking the right questions.